everyone, welcome back to another Monday Makeup Lesson. Today I'm talking about filling in your brows and also applying your contour. Last week I did my foundation routine, which is all I have on my face right now. If you haven't seen it already, I will link it up here. Depending on whether you're looking at your phone or your laptop, the links are up here. And the next thing then is to fill in my brows. But I'm also gonna show you how to contour. And the reason I put those two things together is because they create the framing and the shape for the rest of your makeup look. So the two of them, along with mascara, are super important in creating any makeup of look. There's a million and one ways to fill in your eyebrows. For me, I start off with a pencil. I have a high-end and a drugstore one for you. The high-end one is the Urban Decay Brow Beater. I have it in the shade Neutral Brown. This is a roll-up pencil on one side and a spoolie on the other, and this spoolie is honestly amazing. Unfortunately, I have run out of it. But I do have a drugstore alternative. This is the Catrice Eyebrow Stylus. I have it in the shade Brown Eyed Peas, number 30. They're almost indistinguishable. So taking the Catrice pencil, I always start by marking out my brow. So I go from the dimple of the nose and I slightly push inwards because I want my brows to be a bit closer together. Otherwise my eyes can look really far apart. And from that point, I start to draw a line outwards. And I only do this line at the bottom of my brows. I don't do it at the top and I'll show you guys why in a second. So I have my line underneath and I do the same on the other side. Try and make this line nice and smooth and straight, working up towards your arch. Just to show it up on camera, I've done it a little bit thicker. And then I'm gonna do the top part. So what I don't do is start the top part in here and then bring it across. That's gonna look really unnatural and very boxy. Unless that's the look you're going for and then work away. My brows in the front, they grow upwards and then they start to curve around. So just at the point where they start curving around, that's where I start my next line. And I slowly work up towards my arch. Try to remember that no two brows are the same. One of my brows curves, the other one is a straight angle, so I tend to swap them around. A little bit straighter on this side and then curvier on the other to add some balance. You can blend out these lines using a spoolie or a brush, but what I like to do is to switch to a palette and a powdered product. So I'll either use the Pixi palette, which is a high-end one, or the Catrice palette, which is a drugstore. What I like about the Pixi palette is it has a shade all the way from a cream to a black, or the drugstore alternative by Catrice, which has a light, medium, and dark, and it also has a highlighter. But I'm gonna use the Pixi palette for this. I use a little mixture of the brown and the black on the outer edge of my eye to start with. And I'm gonna use an E44 for that. This is a flat-topped brush, highly recommended. I put less pressure when I'm around the arch area and then more pressure on the brush the longer I go out to the edge. This will give you a really nice fade and a blended finish. I have to elongate my brows just very, very slightly. Most people do, so bear that in mind. And now I want to blend out that pencil on this inner part. So I use whatever's left over in the brush. I don't add any more product and I just push upwards to blend this out. And then also the top line, blending that down into the middle of the brows. Take it in E03 and the lightest shade from this palette, I'm gonna go around the edges and really sharpen this up. I prefer using a powder. I know a lot of people like to use concealer, but I think a powder is a much softer finish. You don't have to go around the entire brow. Sometimes just doing underneath the arch or slightly above the arch can add a lot of definition, but it's just really important to blend. So that is my brows finished. They're a little bit thicker than normal, but I need to get them waxed. Sarah, if you're watching, you gotta do these for me. Sarah does my brows, she's awesome. So once my brows are done, I typically move on to contouring. And this is gonna create that nice shape for the rest of our face. So there's two things that you need to remember with this. For here and underneath here, we're gonna create a shadow effect. So you wanna use something more cool toned. That's why I use the NYX palette. And I use this shade in here, which is cool toned. But around the hairline, I'm gonna use the Blank Canvas Cosmetics powder set. So I use a mixture of these two. The reason we don't use a cool tone around your hairline is because it can look a little unnatural. So using the F31, I'm gonna go into a little bit of sculpt. And what I do is I go from the top of my ear to the corner of my mouth. Create a nice smooth line very lightly. Then turning this brush on its side, so we've applied like this, we're gonna turn it on its side, you're then gonna sweep back and forth to blend it up. If you find that your contour is always coming down too far, apply some baking powder there first or lighter powder to stop yourself from bringing it down too far. And the trick to contouring is just to keep blending. If your contour starts to go a little bit muddy and a little bit gray toned, add in a little bit of warm bronzer to lift it a bit this will just take away from that dirty, muddy look. And then around the hairline, a mixture of these two. All of these shades are exactly the same formula, so you can mix and match them. You wanna keep your contour in your forehead on the other side of your arch. So make sure not to come in too far in here. 
then you can blend it up towards the hairline and go a little bit beyond that point. If you want to make your face look thinner, don't apply contour to the top of your forehead right here because this will shorten your face and make it look broader. But obviously if you have a long face that you don't like, you can always shorten it by doing contour across the top. Then I'll apply my highlighter and my blush. My blush depends on what I'm wearing on my lip and then my lips have to complement my eyes. So those three things go together. But I do have a video coming up on makeup hacks to show you guys how to create and build a look. So definitely check out the information box because that will be in there as soon as it's live. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this look and I'll be back in a second. And that's my contouring and my brow routine. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, as always, leave a comment. I'll try and get back to as many people as I can. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys in a video on Wednesday. Talk to you then. Bye guys.